All right, so one of my first and foremost, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, and Bashem Rakakodash. I'd like to give double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect, and this teaches word in our true faith and sincerity. And yeah, today I just want to title this lesson: We shall be changed. <clears throat> Meaning what? The Lord is pretty much is gonna give give us a new body, man. You know. Because this corrupt matter of fact, for anything, let's just get it. Let's just get it. First Corinthians the fifteenth chapter. Because we finna come into a um pretty much we finna about we're about to enter into eternity, man. You know? We're about to enter into eternity and the Lord is finna well equipped us to reign for eternity. And how is that? By the way of these new bodies, man. You know, by the way of this, uh, this, uh, 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 it's going to be a new heart that the Lord is going to give us, you know, meaning he's going to put the laws, statutes, commandments in our animal parts. You know what I mean? So, um, let's see. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to see. This is First Corinthians fifteen, and I'm gonna start at forty eight. It says, "As is the earthy, such are they also that are earthy, and as the heavenly, such are are they also that are heavenly. As we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Meaning, what we're gonna have, we're gonna." Have extraterrestrial bodies, man. Because we're gonna we're gonna do uh we still gonna be able to eat and drink and have sex, but we still but we also are gonna um do the things of the celestial bodies, man. You know? It says now that's why we're gonna be able to enter into those chariots, you know. Because the chariots is is not of of this realm. It, it doesn't um, it's not bound by the laws of physics how it is on the earth, man. You know, it says now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Neither the corruption inherit incorruption. See, so because this 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 body is corrupted, man, and this actually is going to be. Uh, before we even enter into them chairs, we're going to be actually delivered from these bodies, man. Matter of fact, let's get that in um, Romans, the seventh chapter. We actually are going to be delivered from these bodies, man. Yeah, I mean, let's see. Yeah, this is um, Romans 7. And, um. You know what? Let's see. I started at eighteen. It says, "For I now know, for I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good things. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not." That's why the scripture says, "Uh, the uh, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, man." See, these bodies are, are corroded. That's why this scripture in the scripture is known as the chains of darkness, man. You know? It's the chains of darkness, you know? The, uh, we pretty much, it's is, is like an uphill battle every day with the flesh, man. You know what I mean? It says, <clears throat> For the good that I would, I do not, but the evil which I would not, that I do. See? Because of this flesh. It says, Now, if I do that what I would not, it is no more that, no more I that do it. But sin that dwelleth in me. And that's why Scripture said we are uh, subject unto vanity, but not willingly, man. You know, these bodies are, create, are created to go off, man. You know? It says, it says, um, I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. It says, for I delighted. For I delight in the law of the Most High after the evil man. Yeah, because we want to be perfect, man. We want to please Yahweh Bashim al And how to please the Lord is uh, following His law, statutes, and commandments, man. You know? And we see the benefits of uh, um, 
uh, delighting in the law of the Lord, man. Because if you do that, you'll live forever. You know, these um, uh, pretty much everything will be in, in rightful order, man. You know, you see, it's, it's benefits to you will live, man. You uh, hearkening to the words you have by Shemel Shai. So that's why, when, you know, when we get those new bodies, when that, that new covenant is established, man, we're going to live forever, man. You know, it says, <clears throat> but I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind. See? And bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. See, that was said, the chains of darkness, man. When you in chains, that means you, you're in captivity. You are, you are bound, you know. And that's why the first deliverance is is going to be from our bodies, man. Before we can get to the chairs, we're going to have to get out of these bodies, man. That's why it says, O wretched man that I am. Who shall deliver me from the body of this death? See, so we we are uh, this. So these bodies, we cannot we cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven, you know, which is in corruption. You know, we can't enter into the kingdom. We can't enter into eternity with these damn bodies, man. You know, so the Lord is going to give us, uh, you know. Matter of fact, let's continue on. Let's read this again. First Corinthians 15 and 50. It says, Now this I say, brethren, that the flesh and blood cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High, neither doth corruption inherit in corruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Meaning what? Uh, even during the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, uh, pretty much some of us going to have to be martyrs, you know, get our head. Uh, uh, beheaded for the word, but some of us we actually are not going to taste death. Yahweh Shai even said that, man. Matter of fact, let's see if I can find that real quick. <clears throat> yeah, this is um, this is Matthew 16 and 28. It says, Verily I say unto you that there be some standing here which shall not taste of death. See. Till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. And let you know that we're talking about back then. Because if that was the case, we'll all be in the kingdom, man. And we can read about the, the different um, uh, disciples. You know, they um, became apostles, you know, that uh, was put to death for Yahweh Shai, man. You know, only one that was preserved was John, you know, the revelator, man. You know, and, and guess what? It's going to be like this in this time. So we, some of us is not, some of us are going to pretty much be preserved, you know, and we're going to see the return of the Lord. That's why the scripture says um, those that love his appearing, you know, actually get to, you know, see the return of the Lord, man. You know, we're going to be preserved through all these things about to come on the planet Earth, you know, and the Lord is going to preserve us so we can see him, you know. It's just like uh, these, you know, these boy bands, when they on the stage and you got the little school, school girls just screaming they night, and that's how it's going to be, man. You know? So, we, we actually want to see how we start returning his glory, man. You know? So, this is, this is uh, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, meaning what? At the last trump is when the, uh, pretty much, <clears throat> the seven trumpet, the last vow is going to be poured. You know, which is the discretion. For, uh, and it, it says, For the dead, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. See? So, and it said, in a moment, it's twinkling or not, because this 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 deliverance is going to be a, uh, say, we're going to be scarcely saved, man. You know? So, once that, that seven trumpet be blown, we got to be out of here for that, that trumpet get blown, for that vow get poured out, man. And it says it's going to be in a twinkling of an eye, man. We're going to be changed. We're going to have those new bodies. For this corruptible must put on incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality. See? So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption. And this mortal shall have put on immortality. Then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written. Death is swallowed up in victory. See? O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? It says, uh, 
the sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. See, so we actually are gonna overcome death, man, because y'all saw already did that, man. You know, we following these footsteps, and 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 we're not gonna see anymore. Though I said the uh, the strength of sin is the law, and that's why we're gonna have those uh, the, the laws, that's and commandments in our inner part. That's the new covenant, man. You know. For the, for the ones that think that we already in a new covenant, we, if, you, if you're in a new covenant, I, don't cough, don't sneeze, uh, don't go off. You know what I mean? You will follow the law to the utmost, you know, you will be empowered right now. You will actually be empowered if you had the law, standards, commandments in your inner parts, man. Let's see, let's get, let's see, let's get Ezekiel real quick. Ezekiel 11. <clears throat> and, uh, Yeah, this is um, Ezekiel 11 and 19. It says, And I will give them one heart, and I will put a new spirit within you, and I will take out the stony heart out of their flesh and give them a heart of flesh. And yeah, the stony heart is talking about the laws that was written on the tablets, man. You know, we actually have to go to the scriptures to, to see what's, what's right and what's wrong. And when this happened, we got this is how we're supposed to judge. So we had to go to to the to the scriptures to to um to uh pretty much <clears throat> judge and go by with the with the uh go we had to actually go to the scriptures go to the tablets and read the judgments you know what had to be played out but now he says he's gonna give us a heart of flesh meaning what it's gonna be within us you know it ain't like we're gonna have to go to the you know, to the scrolls and see what we have to do, man. It's going to be already within us. It said that they may walk in my statutes and keep my ordinance and do them. And they should be my people and I will be their power. See? And that's what's going to happen. That's how. The, that's that's what actually, actually going to pretty much be. We're going to be programmed to only do righteousness, man. You know? We're going to be programmed only to do righteousness, man. You know, and that's part of being delivered from this body, man. You know, that's part of us being changed. That's why we're going to have a, uh, an everlasting rulership. <clears throat> Jeremiah 31. And uh, the 31. The Jeremiah 31, 31. It says, and Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. See? And guess what? And it was uh, pretty much... The covenant was signed off by the blood of Yahweh Shah, man. That's why this is uh a part this is status uh on a new promise, man, a better promise, man. Because this unblemished lamb, pretty much it was on that one sacrifice, man. You know, and 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 through through the blood of Yahweh Shah, man, you know, we're gonna be perfect, man. You know, if it is not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand. To bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was not husband unto them, said the Lord, see, because we couldn't keep this, uh, we couldn't keep it, you know, that's why I said, uh, having fought with them, meaning us, because we couldn't keep it, man, you know, but through Yahweh Shai, the Lord made a way, man, it said, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, said the Lord, I will put my law in their inner parts and write it in their hearts, see? And will be their power and they shall be my people, see? So we actually going to have a law in our inner parts, man. He said he's going to write it in our hearts, man. You know? That's the heart of flesh. It says, it says, uh, and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, know the Lord. And yeah, that's why we're going to be uh, a nation of kings and priests. All of us are gonna, we're gonna be the priests, man. You know, I meaning because because we're gonna have to teach the other nations, man. We actually know how to teach the other nations. We're not. It's not like and we're in a new covenant. Why you you know? For you guys that think we're in a new covenant, uh, why you why you still teaching, man? You know, because it ain't like. Everybody gonna be in a new covenant one at a time. No, it's gonna all happen at the same time when the Lord returns, man. You know, 
No, I said when we enter into them chambers, that's when uh, we're going to uh, consummate the marriage. That's the covenant right there, man. That's when we consummate the marriage, when we enter into the chamber, when we join with the Lord, man. You know? It says, and they said, teach every man no more his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, know the Lord. For they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, said the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. So meaning we we're going to never go off again, man. You know, the Lord, is, he's going to blot the sins out. And um, we're, after that, we ain't going to never go off, man. You know, because that's part, of, this is part, of, this, this is how we're going to, uh, this part of that first deliverance, man. Us getting out of these bodies. Us, you know, now, you know, uh, we, we go off, man. We, we, hey, we want to please y'all by a smell of shine, man. You know, and that, and this is part of it. Is the, 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 you know, one of the first steps before we can get into the chariots. We're going to have to, um, you know, get out of these bodies. And uh, matter of fact, since I said we were gonna be kings and priests, I'm gonna end it off on this. Because if we you know, if we we gotta have the uh law statutes and commandments within us, because we hey, it's gonna be all the nations are gonna come unto us to learn from us, man. So this is Isaiah two and one, it's saying the the word that Isaiah the son of Amos uh saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem, see? And it shall come to pass in the last days, see. That the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. Being where Israel is going to be on top, man. You know, it said, and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. See? Why? Because you read Deuteronomy 28th chapter, and the, the first, uh, I think it's like 13, you know, verses, man. Hey, that, that covers everything, man. Those blessings, that covers everything, man. You know? And, and we, they, the nation is going to see uh, pretty much the blessings continually raining upon us. And they, what's, what they're going to do, which they ain't going to have no choice but to come to us anyway, man. You know, but they're going to see that the ways of your by Shemar Shai is the, the, the best way, man. It is the way of life, man. It is the way to prosperity, man. You know, it says, and many people shall go and say, come and let us go to the mountain of the Lord. To the house of the power of Jacob, he will teach us his ways. See, that was going to be those priests, man. We're not going to be teaching Israelites. We're going to be teaching the other nations, man. And it's not like they're going to get it right. We're going to beat their ass, you know, because guess what? They're not going to get no new bodies. They still going to go off, man. They still going to go off. It, but we're going to have those new bodies. You know, we're going to have that new heart. It says, he will teach us his ways and he will walk. And we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. See? So as you can see, the, the law is going to go forth out of Zion. But it's not like we, how are we going, how are we going to teach the law and we can't, we can't keep it, man? You know, we're going, to, we're going to be able to keep it to the 100%, man. You know? And these other nations going to have, ain't going to have no choice but to keep it as well. You know? But yeah, I, I just hold it with edifying. I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh. Bless him, Yahweh Shai. Bless him, Rekha Kodash. Double honors to the positive elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. This is where in our true fame sincerity. DTA, Abba, Abba, Abba.